First, Texas is refusing to dismantle a floating barrier to deter migrants from swimming into our state. And now the Justice Department is suing because they say the very construction of it breaks federal law. Governor Greg Abbott said that he had to do something because the federal government isn't doing enough, although the number of illegal crossings has gone down this summer. The Justice Department gave Texas a Monday deadline to remove the buoys designed to deter illegal immigration across the Rio Grande. Governor Greg Abbott responded directly to the White House in a letter writing, Texas will see you in court, Mr. President. Dozens of congressional Democrats have called on the administration to block Abbott's border policies that they call dangerous, but Republicans maintain without danger, there is no deterrent. I would much rather see not one person have to step one foot in that water because it is dangerous. The chain of buoys is only a thousand feet long, but it's part of the state's multi billion dollar operation to block illegal immigration that includes miles of barbed wire and thousands of National Guard members. We have a marine barrier. We have Concertina wire along the riverbank, boots on the ground, all the different types of signs and loudspeakers that broadcast a message that do not cross the river because it is dangerous. But there is internal frustration too about these more aggressive border policies, with some officials complaining that water is withheld from migrants and kids are being injured by razor wire barriers. Just recently, a pregnant woman was caught on barbs and suffered a miscarriage. The one person that is sowing chaos is Governor Abbott. That's what he continues to do, political stunts in an inhumane way. He's making this more difficult, and so he's not operating in good faith here.